Meanwhile, former FDA commissioner and Pfizer board member Dr. Scott Gottlieb told Face the Nation's Margaret Brennan South Africa has 16 million doses of the vaccine that they have not yet distributed. Let's go now to CBS's Lilia Luciano in Los Angeles with more on Dr. Gottlieb's advice on this strain. Good evening, Lilia. Good evening to you, Meg. Dr. Gottlieb said it's crucial to determine whether this variant is vaccine resistant to figure out how to best fight COVID. Holiday crowds are filling the sidewalks, freeways, and airport in LA this weekend amid growing concerns about Omicron, the new coronavirus strain. It's almost definitely here already. Just looking at the number of cases coming off planes this weekend, it's almost a certainty that there have been cases that have gotten into the United States. Scientists are working to quickly understand just how dangerous and contagious the strain is. But they say they haven't found that Omicron is vaccine resistant. Former FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb. If someone who's been infected with Delta is well protected from this and someone who is fully boosted is also well protected from this, that could be a pretty good backstop from this becoming really epidemic in the United States. The threat of Omicron comes as COVID cases in the country are surging. The hardest hit states with new infections, Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin. These cold weather states have vaccination rates below the national average of nearly 70 percent with at least one dose, increasing the urgency for more vaccinations and booster shots. Whether it's going to be a three shot and you're done or three shots and then every once in a while you have to reboost. We'll have to see how things Roll out. Moderna says if it needs to come up with a new vaccine to fight Omicron, it could do so by early next year. How do you feel at this point about the pandemic? I would say I'm like cautious, a little nervous, especially with the news coming out about some of the mutant strains. Tomorrow, the city of Los Angeles will start implementing its strict proof of vaccination mandate for restaurants, gyms, and a variety of other businesses and venues. Meg. Lilia Luciana for us in Los Angeles. Thank you.